peace be with you. You may have heard the phrase that pen is mightier than the sword, and there are many instances in which this holds true. But for me, the most powerful reason why this holds true is that it is the pen that decides between the victim and the perpetrator, between the innocent and the guilty, between those who are defending themselves and the aggressors. That is the true power of the pen, the power of victimhood. And once you understand the power of victimhood, you will understand the true power of the pen. If you are declared a victim, if you are accepted as the victim, then you can do no wrong. You can kill and you can murder 13,000 children and you can starve 2 million people and you can still get support. You can still get people to send you weapons, even though they are observing you committing war crimes with their own eyes. That is the power of the pen. And that is what has to be understood. Because of this reason, millions of dollars in countless lies are told to, in order to generate this effect, in order to gain this kind of power. And you should never underestimate the motivation of people to lie to gain this kind of power. Do you think that these people who are willing to kill tens of thousands of children are not going to be willing to lie in the worst possible way in order to gain this kind of power? Take Israel, for example, the Israeli government. In order to justify slaughter and ethnic cleansing, they have generated several misinformation campaigns before October the 7th of 2023 and afterwards. One of the examples is the story of the 40 beheaded babies that turned out to be a lie. And there are many other examples. Now imagine if Israelis had as much video evidence of war crimes committed against them as Palestinians do. How would the mainstream media out here in the West present that? Imagine if they actually had the video evidence of 40 uh, beheaded babies. We would know every name. We would know every date of birth. We would see every picture. But for the Palestinian children, they're just collateral damage, nameless numbers. And that is the difference. That is how you generate victimhood. When the Israelis massacre hundreds of people, who hundreds of starving people, who are trying to get some flour off of trucks. The U.S. government response is, and the media response is, we're not sure what happened. An investigation is needed. We have to really look into this, into this tragedy that happened on camera. But we're not really sure what happened, even though it's all recorded on camera. But when the Israelis came out with the whole 40 beheaded baby story, our president of the United States of America went on live TV and said that he saw it with his own eyes. That is the difference. That is the difference in how information is processed and generated and presented in order to gain victimhood. And that's it. That is it in a nutshell. Lies are told and then lies are reconfirmed by being treated as automatic truth by people in power. So the truth is that's captured on camera is treated as lies and lies are, are treated as truth. All this is done in order to generate victimhood so the war crimes can continue unabated. That is the power of the pen. In this instance, in what is happening in Gaza, the clear, recorded, and easily accessible massacres and war crimes committed by the Israelis are excused and rationalized by the media, while the Israeli lies, many of which have been clearly disproven, and many of which have scant or questionable evidence, like not on camera, like the suffering of the Palestinians, are treated as clear evidence that the Israelis are victims. This is just one example. This happens all the time, through time, all over the world. This is why God says in the Quran, in the 49th chapter, verse 6, O you who believe, if an evildoer comes to you with a report, look carefully into it, lest you harm people in ignorance, then be sorry for what you have done. You know who evildoers are. It is people who do other than the, what God commanded. People whose pattern of life is that of disobedience to God. People who are fasi kun in Arabic. That's most of the U.S. government, most of Western governments, most of Arab governments, most of all governments, and most of all media. You have to kind of read through the lines about what's happening. God also says, do not follow that of which you do not have any knowledge. Surely the hearing and the sight and the heart, all of these will be questioned about that. And this is in the 17th chapter of Crown, verse 36. 
What we do is based on information we are given. Information we are given can alter our perception on who is the victim and who is the perpetrator. And when that perception is altered, we will excuse everything the victim does and condemn even if it's self-defense what we think is the perpetrator. That is the power of the pen. And that is the power of misinformation. And that is why God warns us about this in the Quran. One of the worst tragedies, one of the most clear and present dangers. That is what the Quran says. Peace be with you.